All right, hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna be going over how to tech chase. Um, tech chasing is really all about reading your opponent correctly. Uh, a tech chase is known of many things. Uh, and it's basically, you know, if your opponent keeps doing the same move over and over again, and then you you uh, learn to adapt from it, and as soon as they do that certain move again, and then you punish, you able to punish them perfectly for it, then you know it's a tech chase or a read or whatever you guys want to call it. That's pretty much the gist of it. So Snake's tech chases are from his down throw, and when when you're down throwed, there's only a couple options you can do. You can stay still. You could um, uh, you could roll forward. You could roll backwards. You could get up regular, or you could do a get up attack. Basically, though, staying still and a get up attack, or just getting up regular, puts you in the same exact position, anyways. But um, the the biggest thing here is doing the rolls is trying to tech chase when your opponent rolls um if you're playing like kind of like people that aren't familiar with snake or kind of like beginners or anything like they're casuals um they normally will tend to do the same thing and you know wh whenever you do a down throw always try to remember what they what they do and then try to react from that um now there's no really 100% way to do it, but we we could always well we can only give options on what your opponent would normally do in certain situations. Um, because if you have them, if you down throw them in the middle of the stage, they could do anything that they want. They're they're completely comfortable with doing anything, whether it was a get up attack, a roll forward, a roll back, or just laying there. But when you put them on the ledge, it's a different story. If you guys have watched my videos before, I've gone over it before and over again, but um, to say it again, most people will not roll towards the ledge. Because if you roll towards the ledge, it puts you in the same exact position. So literally, all I could do is shield. You would want to shield because it stops the get up attack. It, um, it'll stop the get up attack. If he rolls forward, he'll still be in the same spot. And if he lays there or does a regular get up, he's still in the same spot. The only way to get away is a back roll. If he rolls behind you. Most people will will roll back because no one wants to be on the edge of the stage. It's uncomfortable because the blast zone is over here. You know, you're so close to dying. Um so most people will roll back now if you're playing an experienced player or a pro player or something like that they're definitely not 100 percent gonna roll back they're actually gonna do what you think is is a uh, least expected really they're gonna hit you with the least expected but most people that you play whether they're online or you know whatever the case is will roll back um so it's up for you to punish you can roll back and then hit him with the F tilt or um, a up tilt. Um, what are what are good punishes? I'm pretty sure you guys might ask this, but what are good punishes for um, for tech chasing? Like when you actually know what what they're gonna do, what's the best move to to punish them with? Now, if they're at a a, a low percent, like zero, for example. You know, and they do a back roll. I would just do an F tilt. Um, if they're at like a high percentage, then you want to do an up tilt to try to kill them. Um, was it Ally? Ally likes to do do like a, a down air. So he'll he'll like do a down throw, and then do a down air if they roll forward or behind. Um, so they'll just he'll just do that. Uh, 
And another thing he does too is he'll, he'll like to do two of them. That's one thing that he likes to do. Again, Ally is a really good snake player, so... Can't really... Can't really say what he does is wrong, you know? So he'll do two. That's, you know, we're already at 51% there. But um, normally, and if they lay down, again, because if your opponent decides to just lay there, you can do anything you want to them, really. You can free up tilt, free up tilt, uh, free down air, down tilt. There's just so much stuff. You can even, I think you can get a sticky. Yep. You can do a sticky. Um, there's there's just so many things you could do with they lay down still. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Now there's other options too. Now you could hold a grenade and then grab them and then down throw them. So if there's a grenade behind you and your opponent is laying down, the last thing they'd want to do is get hit by the grenade. So that covers your option of a possibility of them rolling back. Because if they roll back, the grenade is right there. So that deletes that option. So they're either going to get up, attack, or they're going to roll forward. And more than likely, they're going to roll forward because they don't want to be anywhere near that grenade. So they'll roll forward, and then you'll punish with with your F tilt or your um, or your uh, down tilt or down air, whatever you want. And. Um, that's really what I would what I would expect as well. Uh, another thing is if they have like a C4, like let's say you have a C4. Um, let's say you have them here, and then you like grab them like that. So rolling forward covers the C4. So if they roll forward, you could be ready to detonate it. But, but that does cover another option, so they're either going to get up, or they're going to roll back. You can shield, and if they do the get up attack, you can hit them with the F tilt. Um, or, you, or your down air, or your up tilt, or anything like that. And then if, if they roll back, look how close they are to when they roll back. That's a free F, that's a free F tilt. Um, F, smash, F, F smash is doable if they, if they roll back. But you'd have to do it like immediately. Um, you'd have to do it really fast. If they roll back, get ready for the F tilt. Uh, another thing as well. So let's say let's say you just had this C4 lane for a while, and then you get it from behind, and you do that. Really, that's the uh, that's another option because that's covering both options: a forward roll and a back roll. Only thing left they could do is really just lay there or do a get up attack. And if they do a get up attack, that's why you should be shielding to be ready for that get up attack. And then you just hit them with whatever, as far as the um, the up tilt, up tilt, down air, or anything like that. Um, some people also do stickies. So, I, like I showed you, let's do a sticky or. Or another thing they'll do is if they roll forward, they'll follow them and then sticky. Um, now, as far as sticky goes, I would I only do them if um, if I'm like really just messing around. Like if if I'm just having fun, just messing around, then I'll do it. But if it's like a serious match, I want to do it. That's my opinion. Unless unless you notice. That your opponent is shielding way too much, then you can just run up and sticky them, um, and then just go from there. Uh, and again, sticky back throw into sticky is a gar is guaranteed. Um, they can't they can't tech out of it. I mean, well, they can't air dodge it, and that's only for back throw. So remember that, guys. Only back throws, up throw, down throw, and forward throw or whatever is not guaranteed. the The opponent can air dodge out of it. it um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, again, so recap: if they're in the middle, you really 
they could do anything really you just got to be ready for it. i would normally shield and then especially the first the the first grab i normally would shield just to see what they do first and then you know once once you get that first grab and you see what they do just go from there um and then if they let's see and then if they're if they're near the edge more than likely they're gonna roll behind you or they're gonna do a get up attack but more than likely they're gonna roll behind you more than anything because they don't want to get up attack or roll forward because they'll be in the same spot where they started and it's easier for you to land another hit that way um, down if you do a down throw and then they get up and then you do um, another down throw like let's say like you do one and then they roll forward and then you do it again so notice how he couldn't re-grab um, that was a, a notable thing in brawl that that snake was able to do but um, he's not able to do that in this game so um, a lot of us brawl snakes such as myself do end up trying to do that again because we're so used to it but um, that does take time so again you can't do another grab because uh, because of the this this game has a one second rule so as soon as they get up you can't re-grab until one second later and obviously one second's a long time to be able to react to something um, and then last thing here if your opponent is at 160 again you guys have probably already seen this everybody's probably already seen this already or heard about it but um, if you haven't basically if your opponent if you down throw your opponent at 160%, specifically 160%, you can do an immediate up tilt for a free kill, and it's guaranteed, which means that the opponent literally can't do anything about it. No matter if they push a roll or get up attack immediately or mash it or whatever, they they can't escape it. The up tilt will will connect as long as you do it immediately. Because of the percentage, they don't have um like they can't there's like uh I, I i'm not good with frames to be honest but like there's a certain amount of frames before they can react and basically uh, up tilt comes comes out faster than they can be able to react which is good for us so that helps us out a lot but um again that's pretty much all there is to do it to to go over as far as tech chasing goes uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to comment uh, don't forget to subscribe follow me on twitch i do stream there um and that's that's pretty much it they thank you again guys for stopping by and watching the video again don't forget to subscribe and follow me on twitch if you want to um see me live play some matches with me or even for the matter of fact ask questions about training or anything like that i'm always down to help you guys if you want to send me videos to go over any matches for you i can do that as well again i appreciate everything that you guys do for me you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Bye now.